fans and welcome back to a new video here on the Rusty Boxcar channel. Happy Easter to everybody out there posting this and recording it on this Easter Sunday. I uh, got a pretty cool train here for you today along with a couple of other updates. First off, want to start out talking about uh, Hobo Shoestrain for those who know who he is from his videos here on YouTube. Uh, he may be one of the more famous, if not the most famous, uh, railroad riders out there. Uh, he is unfortunately missing. Uh, the last seen uh, sounds like on March 27th, uh, about 1 a.m. There's some ring footage of him going into his apartment. And he has not been seen since and is not in his apartment. His family uh, went to the Johnson City area yesterday. To look for him, uh, and re after realizing his apartment was empty, uh, all of his personal belongings, uh, phone, things like that are in the apartment, so it appears he's wandered off. I know Hobo's been uh, fighting through some health issues, and it sounds like he had went to the emergency room the day before and then been discharged, but was still experiencing some hallucinations and... Uh, you know, an, an altered state of mind from what his uh, missing persons poster says. So, praying that Hobo's found safe. Uh, not sure where he would have wandered off to. Um, you know, potentially he did board a train. He's out there riding the rails somewhere and will pop back up. Sounds like he's done this uh, once before, so we'll hope for the best there. Um, also, the train we're going to show you today, uh, which was M647, uh, that we captured yesterday coming through the National Cemetery. Uh, it, it was a southbound train going from Chicago's Clearing Yard down to Waycross uh, Rice Yard. Uh, it was unfortunately involved in a pedestrian strike and death yesterday. Uh, sounds like last night after we saw it, uh, went through downtown and got onto the Chattanooga subdivision. Sounds like somewhere around uh, Smyrna, Murfreesboro area. Uh, was unfortunately involved in a pedestrian strike, uh, made an emergency stop, and uh, changed out crews and, and all the requisite things that happened. So prayers to that crew, prayers to the family of the person who was hit. Don't have a lot of details, haven't seen official news on it yet, so not entirely sure what happened there. Um, to our train, uh, again, it's going to be the M647. We captured it yesterday. Uh, with 1973 up front, uh, which is the Chessy Heritage Edition. Uh, and then it's going to have 5, 5489 and 212 trailing. Um, so we were set up on the front side of the cemetery, and this happened to us a couple weeks ago when the Chesapeake and Ohio came through. Uh, we like to stay on the south side of the cemetery on the eastern end of the tracks. And we'd heard that a uh, intermodal train was going to be coming through, on the track nearest us and so we made the decision to, to go over to the north side um, and west part of the tracks and just as we got over there this train came on through we really thought the intermodal would come first and block us uh, which is what happened with that CNO train so not the greatest footage uh, we do capture the entire train just barely uh, you hear me at the very beginning of it telling everybody that uh, it's here uh, because nobody was prepared for it. Big crowd out at the cemetery yesterday. We had about six people down uh, on our end uh, with us, all, uh, all friends of the channel. And then we had uh, several people up at the other end of the cemetery as well. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, again, prayers go out to uh, the family of the person hit uh, yesterday as well as the crew. And then also prayers that uh, Hobo turns up safe. So... Uh, if anybody wants to pass the, the poster along, it's on our Facebook page. Um, and we'll hope all good things come out of this. It's here. Oh, hey. <laughs>
Thanks for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it out there. If you did, please drop down below and click that thumbs up button to give us a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, either clicking the subscribe button down below, or you can hit the Rusty Boxcar logo on the right side of the screen. Drop us a comment also. We enjoy those and we'll try to answer them as fast as we can.